Today, I would like to welcome you, my dear viewer, to a new segment of my content. Give yourself a round of applause. You're entering a new era of Savarino channel content today with me. And we'll be calling it Evan Complains. And couldn't think of a better name for it, so he's going to be calling it this. And I'll be complaining, if you couldn't already tell, and I can't think of a better name for it. If you also couldn't tell, then come on, stick with it. But today I'll be complaining about Twitter misinformation. And I know right off the bat, my dear viewer, you're probably like, Evan, misinformation on Twitter? That's just called Twitter. And I agree with you, yes. But I'm actually not talking about just the common user. I'm more referring to Twitter news accounts. Because there's a lot of different accounts on Twitter. Whenever I make these videos, these daily informational videos for you guys, I usually go to Twitter first. And I look for what the common talking abouts are. And then I take that information, I go and read dozens of articles about it, and get you guys the real, the real talk, the real stuff, the real talk of the town, you know? Because I want to give you guys, like, truthful, reputable stuff whenever I report everything that I talk about. And so sometimes I stumble across various accounts who are commonly known for reporting news. And while there are some who are known to be parody accounts, like fake news accounts that are fake knowingly, they, they kind of lean into it. There are some who try to label themselves as news accounts, but really are some of the least reputable news I've ever seen in my life. And one of the big ones I'm going to start you guys off with is a real one that pisses me off, really gets my, my panties in a twist, and then I'll finish the video off with some of the joke ones that I really want to show you. But I'm starting you guys off with the spinach of this meal, and that is Drama Alert. Now, if you don't know what Drama Alert is, it's run by Keemstar. And if you don't know who Keemstar is, you've had a much better experience on the internet than I have in your early life. But Keemstar is a relatively edgier creator that's made himself very evident in the news side of YouTube. He's friends with people like Leafy is here, if that gives you a good gauge of how he is as a human being. But he has always kind of been that way. He, I, I think just the other day I saw a video of him, just like, it was a compilation of all the slurs he said in his videos. And it isn't like him saying slurs in a hateful way, he's reading them as if they're quotes, but you can tell by the way he reads it that like before he starts that take he's like yes oh i'm allowed to say it now i can say it because it's a quote yes and then he hits record and just like slings them out there for everyone to hear and so he's not exactly who i'd like to call the bee's knees i don't exactly love the guy but so when you come across his twitter account the drama alert twitter account that's used for reporting news you start to see a lot of information that isn't really news it's a lot of what i like to coin hate bait if essentially it's bait like things to get your attention that are more often than not used to make you angry and then they get people angry they get you to comment on it and when you comment on it it pushes it up in the algorithm and then they make more money it's a game about money it's not really a game about reporting news or actually telling people things interesting it's just about making people angry and getting a few extra bucks and one of the big ones I saw when scrolling recently was with the release of GTA's new trailer, the main character, Lucia, is a female. And they just tweeted randomly one day this. It says, first look at GTA 6's female protagonist. She's rumored to be transgender. Now, that's a heavy topic. And so immediately people ran to the comments like, oh, I guess I'm not buying GTA now. Oh, I'm not going to get this game canceled, GTA 6. And blatant transphobia aside, these reactionary doofuses are really not looking into the the, the the inner picture here. And there are some who do. There's actually someone who I commend. I give you a pat on the back. They said, hey, buddy, um, source? Question mark? And drama alert being the sassy little goofballs they are said, hey, Google's free and posted a screenshot of GTA 6 transgender. And the source is Reddit. They used Reddit as a reputable source for reporting information on Twitter. And honestly, I feel like it's poetic at this point. But... They kept it going. They kept pushing farther. They tweeted just the next day, realizing that that got them a lot of clicks. This. GTA 6 female protagonist might be non binary What pronouns do you think Lucia uses? God damn it, drama alert. You got community noted. Which means now you're not making money. Elon made it so if you get community noted, your tweet doesn't make money. I guess to fight the spread of misinformation, but it's pretty funny seeing it backfire on people who are probably friends with Elon. But then they tweeted just the next day after that, Guys, uh, L Lucia might be gender fluid. Do you agree on this opinion slash speculation? And I'm like, okay, no, you doofus, you goober. What, opinion, speculation? I thought you were a news account. I thought you were an account to report on current events. And I know people off the bat are probably like, okay, well, they're, it, it, they're goofing around. They're being silly. They're being an influencer. And if that's the case, go ahead. Be a Twitter influencer. But if you go to Drama Alert's bio, they label themselves as your number one source for news on the social interactions in online entertainment. Now, 
I don't know about you, but that's not news! They've also done other things very similarly to rile up the relatively edgier audience that they host. Things like this, with like, Nah, what is this in Fortnite? Which, that's not a news article title, but... They're like, it's it's Lego characters dancing in the Ronald Rainbow. So it's like, it's like, people are like, oh, Fortnite's turned woke. Oh, there's gay in Fortnite now. Do you have any internet, like, context clues? Do you know how to look deeper? <laughs> it's so crazy. Considering that is also, like, a really popular Lego set. It, it's just a rainbow Lego set to show off all the various colors that Legos can be. It's not about being gay. I mean, they could be gay. I don't know. They're Legos. They're inanimate objects. But... Anyways, drama alert is a joke, and usually the only news I see them re report on as of lately, well, occasionally reporting on some of the things that I have talked about in videos, are things like Neon, which, I have a MatPat game theory about that, I swear, I'm pretty sure Neon pays drama alert to get reported on their channel, because every time he breathes, they talk about him. Uh, the only things I've ever learned about Neon as a character have been with a, 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 not of my own volition. It's been forced upon me by Drama Alert telling me, Neon's dating this new uh, model. Or Neon is banned from New York. How did he do that? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> He's just everywhere. And, and he looks like this. Looks don't even matter. But why does he look like it? He looks like if you were to have a criminal sketch and they just say, draw a dork. Like, that, that would literally be all that you see. But I complained about Drama Alert for way too long. I, I think they're a joke news source. And of course, I'm still going to look at the account for possible information. I literally just had a six and a half minute long recording. No cuts, by the way. So if you're seeing this and if that if you didn't cut any of it for the video, then you just saw that. I just talked. I just went on yapping. But anyways, there are other accounts that kind of label themselves as fake news accounts and I think it's kind of hilarious because they try to trick people very evidently because when you're on Twitter you have your at and you have your username and Dexerto an account that I use for news has the username Dexerto but they don't however have the at Ty hate God where they which is masking himself as Dexerto and saying a man who puts on a wig and pretends to go to war every day criticizes people for playing Lego Fortnite reporting on the fact that Dr. Disrespect is making fun of people for playing the Lego Fortnite game which by the way I just played it this morning holy shit I'm in love I am going to play that every day for the rest of my life but Anyways, they also did stuff like this, where it's like, Twitch CEO Dan Clancy confirms TwitchCon 2024 will have a designated hookup area. Everything up to third base is allowed. And it's funny because when I first saw that, I thought that was real. But then I saw people retweet it like, this is real? And then I looked closer and was like, oh, okay, people are very bad at spotting misinformation online. But the other one, and the final news source, I'm giving you guys the last one that I think is hilarious, and this one is related to Discussing Film. Discussing Film is an actual source that I use for information about upcoming movies and stuff like that. I used it for the Godzilla trailer I used a few videos ago, and if you can't tell, Discussing Film, they love talking about things like Roblox. I'm joking, they talk about movies. And so, there is a second account on Twitter called Disbussing Film. It's a very, very close trick of the eye. If you aren't exactly a pristine Twitter user, I don't want to ever call myself that, but if you, if you have good eyes, you could probably notice that the name is very similar. And so they tweet things like this. A24 has acquired the rights to former Congressman George Santos' cameo account. They plan to splice together his videos and make a feature-length film. Which, I don't know if you know, uh, George Santos is a um, politician who was kicked off of Congress for using a, a very good portion of his funds for OnlyFans. And now he does cameos. I assume to make money to pay for those OnlyFans accounts. <laughs> but these like parody accounts, I think, are funny. Like, like, they actually admit to it. They actually stand by that they are parody. If you go to their account, they say, your leading source for quick, unreliable news about movies and unrealistic content. Parody. Same with the fake Dexterto account. The fake Dexterto account was saying things like, aspiring enthusiast, probably a parody. It's all just people leaning into the fact that it's fake. I mean, how... And then some of them are like... If you, like, read the article, you think it's disgusting film, and then you read it, and it's like, that was so absurd that I, and then you look back, and you're like, oh, okay, it was disbussing film. Things like, Mandalorians can show ass without being, without violating the creed. Source, at Star Wars. I bet, I, I'm happy they added a source, because I wasn't sure I could believe them at first. And I think it's so funny that they, very rarely, these parody accounts actually get hit with community notes. I, I'm pretty sure that Drama Alert gets hit with more community notes than Disbussing Film does. The only time I've ever seen them do it. Like, they can post things like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio be playing as a brick block in Minecraft. No, that's actually real, Twitter says. But actually, Chris Pratt will not be vo voicing Sonic the Hedgehog. How dare you even assume that to be fact?
<laughs> God, community notes are so goddamn funny, man. Honestly, I should make a video about just community notes, period. That would just be a funny video in itself. Let me know if I should, I guess. But for now, I'm probably gonna be wrapping this video up. I just wanted to complain. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot more natural for me than my usual news-based content, but it isn't often that I find something I can complain about for this long. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this segment and if I should make it return for future videos, because I'd love to. I love just yapping to you guys. But if you don't like it, you can, you can just tell me, just tell me to like it, and then you can throw rocks at me or tomatoes or something. But if, for now, subscribe. If you're new and you haven't seen me before, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and maybe the like button as well to catch me on your homepage more often. And for now, I'm going to be giving you guys the song of the day. Adding on to the other day where I gave you a Tory Lane song, I'm giving you yet another one called Ballad of a Bad Man. Give it a listen. I'm going to add to the songs of the day playlist. And let me know your thoughts on these fake news accounts. Do you see any more that I missed? Do you think there's any other funny news titles that I've you've seen around the internet that I haven't covered in this video? Because I probably haven't. I kind of just grabbed everything from the past, like, 24 hours alone. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. But for now, I'm going to be getting out of here. So thank you guys for being here, and as always, adios, arrivederci, my hair's in my eye, goodbye, good night, and uh, yeah, don't believe everything you see at first glance. Use context clues. Be careful.